everyone, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. So I don't know if you're here because you've just watched part one or you're randomly stumbling across this video, but I have a whole other haul that I had to cut into two parts because it was just too long that has loads of Primark um, pyjamas, underwear, baby stuff, loads of nice bits and pieces um, and it went on for ages so I ended up having to cut it into two parts and now I'm going to do all of the fashion-y bits that I picked up. Um, so if you haven't seen that one already I'll link it below for you, go and check that one out maybe even after this video, there's no real order to it. Um, I hope you enjoy it, I'm going to stop rambling now and get straight into it. So, the first thing I picked up was this. You might have seen me um, kind of hone in on this in the vlog where I went into Primark in Canterbury and I just saw it and I thought it was really lovely. I know quite a lot of people have this, um, but I just, I just think it's a really nice top. It's not the kind of best quality, the material of the top in general just it kind of feels a little bit like I don't know maybe like a tablecloth <laughs> but the embroidery part's really nice and I like the fluted sleeves and the fact that they're three quarter length or cropped um, and the top and it's got a little keyhole back yeah it's just a sweet one I thought I would pick it up and it was £10 next I got this some things are on hangers and some things aren't but I got this so I'm not the biggest fan of gingham, just isn't really a pattern or print that I'm drawn to, a print that I'm drawn to a lot, um, but it's it's kind of big for this spring summer, so I just wanted to have something that was in gingham that wasn't necessarily going to like break the bank expensive if I didn't love it on me. It has the cold shoulder detail on the sleeves and it just has little puffy short sleeves as well, um, and it's quite long buttoned all the way down and I just thought that even being pregnant right now it's something that I can wear that could look it could go either way it could look quite flattering or it could make me look absolutely huge um, but I just like it and I thought I would give it a go and it was only £10 I think lots of people are going to be owning this piece from Primark this spring summer also in that haul you may have seen me looking at this top which is just pretty much your basic striped top, but how can you ever have too many of those? I can't believe in the shop I didn't even realise it had these big cut out sleeves and then they tie, obviously I realised they tied at the end, but I didn't see this detail, which is really stupid of me. I don't tend to wear that many kind of cold shoulder or cut out things, but I just wanted to try something a little bit different, so in a way I'm quite glad that they have that, I'll see what it looks like on me. But just in general, I think it's a nice shape for like a slouchy striped top. So that was £6. I picked up this on a different trip to Primark, in a different Primark. Um, but it's kind of like just your basic shirt. It doesn't have a collar on it, but it has buttons all the way down the front, a little pocket. I liked it because it's just like a simple cream top with a little black sort of square design and I like the sleeves on it as well because they're just tied. Sorry if you can hear the dogs barking, someone's just turned up. So yeah, it's quite a long one, it's longer at the back than at the front and to be honest the reason I got this is I thought being pregnant it was quite an easy one to wear. Um, as I've said in other hauls, none of this is maternity like for pregnant women but I've obviously been having to find things that can accommodate a bump at the moment um, and that was £10 as well and it's just going to be something easy to throw on and it's nice and lightweight but it has like a little bit of a pretty detail on it so I thought I'd give it a go. I think it's quite good for workwear as well. So this I picked up because one I thought it was beautiful and two I've been really loving taking pictures like maternity photos in long maxi dresses so I thought this would be perfect. This is a gorgeous dark floral maxi dress perfect for summer for wearing on holiday on the beach like look it's just so glamorous and beautiful um, and then the back I don't know how well you can see it but it has a big cut out back with a tie um, I got this a few sizes up because obviously I have to fit a now 32 week bump into it um, and unfortunately where it has the join for the top and the skirt part kind of cuts in the wrong place when you're pregnant so 
it doesn't necessarily work that well for like a maternity dress, which it's not the dress's fault because it's not a maternity dress. Um, but it just didn't look great on me and now I think that after I've had the baby and hopefully fingers crossed back to like my normal size eventually I think this one will be too big so what I might do is just go and get it in my normal size and then just put it away from maybe even next year um, so I think it's quite classic I mean it has a split down the front but it's not one of those ones that have two like splits down the middle um, so yeah, it's, it's just, it's really beautiful though, it's a really lovely dress and when I see things like this, this is the only time I'm a bit like, oh I wish I wasn't pregnant, um, but it's only a dress at the end of the day and it was £13, so yeah, I would definitely recommend picking this one up, especially if you're going on a holiday or something, that would be perfect. I found a few of these because these look really nice um, with a pump. Um, and they are these sort of stretchy bodycon dresses. These ones are the ones that go kind of to your knee, depending on how tall you are, maybe just below or just above. Um, and they're only five pounds, they're mega stretchy, so your bump fits in them. And they just look really nice with like a cardigan or like a little rucksack, trainers, really casual outfit, um, but really cute at the same time. Yeah, so I got that one. And I also got a few more. I got it in black, which I'm not going to lie, I already have. But it was in quite a much smaller size than this and it wasn't as stretchy. So I couldn't, I can't fit into it at the moment. So I decided to pick up another one because they are only £5. And I feel really comfortable in them when they do fit. So I picked one up in black. And you can just literally style anything over this. It's so easy to work with as a like a base as a basic and then I got one in khaki but this one is a different slightly different style um, it's quite a lot longer which to be honest I kind of like the slightly shorter ones that go just below your knee whereas this one kind of goes right down nearly to your ankle um, but I really like the colour of it and again I thought it would be quite easy to style up in a simple way and this one is six pounds they do have them in quite a lot of colours in both styles. Then I picked up this, which I think may be impossible to show you properly. Um, it's a little wrap around blouse. I think I fell in love with this because of the print. It's just a really lovely um, pearl kind of spring floral print, which I thought was really pretty. And it has frills that go all the way down, a tie, because obviously as I said, it's wrap around. And then it kind of goes out in a bit of a peplum. Now, I really don't think this is going to suit me at the moment at all. Um, so again, it might be one that I save for just after, or a little while after the baby's born. But the baby is due in May, so I actually do have some summer months after. So, you know, I don't feel too bad about buying it, but definitely doesn't really suit me at the moment. But I just couldn't not get it, because I'm, you know, I'm not going to be pregnant forever, so hopefully I can pick up a few things in advance ready for when I'm not pregnant anymore. So that was, was £10. Um, I also got, actually went quite florally this time. Surprise, surprise. I got this, which I'm quite unsure about. It's not really something I would normally pick up, but, but where I'm pregnant, I thought, um, have I mentioned that I'm pregnant at all? No, I thought that it would look quite cute again for some like bump photos, or if we have a really hot day, this would be really nice and cool is a very odd sort of silky material. It feels like the pyjamas from my last haul, um, but it's just um, sort of off the shoulder, so you'd wear it just like pulled right out of the shoulders, and it's got a little frill detail. I really love the colours in it, the dark floral of it, and I just, yeah, thought I'd give it a go, really. Um, and it was only £6, so again, they had quite a lot of these, but I was just drawn to this print, and I really like it. So I got that one, I got another stripy top. This one feels a really nice quality. It's almost that soft knitted feel um, and it's kind of a lot more tighter fitting so I did go up a couple of sizes. Um, but it's got arms where you can kind of see that they're gonna fit quite nicely on the arms and I just think that it will wear quite well. I really like the thin stripes on it 
and it was only four pounds and it feels really nice quality for that a few more things to show you so i got this top which again i was just really drawn to the print it's sort of i love the base color of it for a start because it's blush pink but it's got these kind of jungle flowers slash leaves on it and it's got a gold zip at the back which i really I feel like looks quite expensive. I know you can't see it up close, but I just think that looks like a nice little design detail. And it was only £8. Um, again, it's just quite simple. I think it will probably could just about cover my bump and look alright at the moment. But I believe that it would probably look nicer when I'm not pregnant, if I'm honest. Um, again, just dressed up with a pair of high-waisted jeans. Um, or even with some heels or something could look really pretty. Oh, Archie got a Paw Patrol watch, which wasn't actually a watch in the end. It says pretty perfume on it, so I don't know really why he wanted it, but he loves Sky, so he got that. And then, just to finish off, I got a few pairs of shoes, which I've just realised. This one has all sticky stuff all over the bow. So the final things are a few pairs of shoes. So, first of all, I picked up these, which I just fell in love with. They are pale pinky nude, sort of pointed toe flats um, with this bow knot detail on the front and they just slip on, they look really easy and comfortable to wear but you could probably like dress up an outfit with them a little bit um, even though they're not heels at all so you'd be quite um, comfortable and they are £8 and then sticking with the blush theme that I clearly am obsessed with um, I got some hemp cells, these are like I want to say plastic looking, but I guess they're sort of meant to be faux leather. They have, there's probably a word for it, which I just do not know. But they have all these little holes in them, um, which is quite nice to air out your feet, I guess. <laughs> and they have white soles, and they were only £5. So really, I just got these for running around with Archie at the park. Can't really go wrong. Yeah. That's why I got those, basically. There's not much more else I can say about them, but I think they're really pretty. So, that is everything. I don't know at this point whether I've been able to condense this all down into one video or it's ended up being split into two parts. I suspect it's been split into two parts because there's just so much stuff here. But I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and you want me to continue to do more videos like this to kind of give you an idea of what's in the shops right now. Um, subscribe if you haven't already or if you're new and please press that little bell down there somewhere that will give you notifications when I make a new video um, yeah I think that's everything I was gonna say and I'll see you all very soon with another video bye guys